Hello, here we are once again with Muki Tenenbaum. We are exploring through these videos, through this YouTube channel, his philosophy, his disillusionism, and his theory about human behavior, his misalgic theory about human behavior as a way of avoiding suffering. And we've been trying for a while now in these videos to bring things down to earth, to analyze current events, to apply concepts of his philosophy to everyday life. And what we are going to try and do today, uh, being that we are right at the middle of 2021, we are right uh, at half of the year, we are going to try and analyze what's been going on uh, on a general basis with the pandemic, the ongoing pandemic of COVID-19 that we are still very much experiencing. And that was the reason why we started with this channel and with these videos. So uh, let's try to think what's been going on and what might happen in the near future, of course, from a disillusionist point of view. Well, first of all, you know, these kind of videos, uh, there are many videos that are being done in YouTube. They are full of them and many about the pandemic itself. I think that we are the only ones, uh, as far as I know, that uh, tries to uh, understand how the pandemic is, is, is developing uh, and how was it developing from a from philosophical point of view, from the disillusionist point of view, uh, which, which we will continue doing in this, in this report. The whole idea is it's a report card on, uh, on the <laughs> pandemic. Uh, on, on, it's a report card on the pandemic. Um, first of all, let me explain. I think we need first to have um, to, to understand what kind of uh, uh, the, the problem that we are faced because of the way we have misdefined COVID. We have mm -hmm. defined COVID as a sickness in which people get you 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 could get. Uh, um, you could be uh, infected by me. I, I, mm -hmm. I, I, I have uh, contagious. I, I be I was contagious, and it, you you got infected, and then either you got sick or you didn't get sick, and you also either either pass it on or ended mm -hmm. with you. It's not true. This is two different sicknesses that we have to deal with them conceptually in a different way. The first one is. You get sick or not, but normally you get sick or not when you get the when you get the virus. The second one, which is unrelated to the first one, you can mm -hmm. also transmit the virus. Why I'm saying it's unrelated? Because vaccines are meant to deal with number one, not mm -hmm. with number two. Vaccines mm -hmm. do not. They may sometimes lower the amount of infection, but do not stop contagion. Mm -hmm. This is very important to understand. So now we have, for example, in Europe and in many countries, they accept you, you come to their country as long as you're vaccinated. And that doesn't make any sense. Why it doesn't make any sense? Because if I don't want people to come in to my country, the only thing I may, may, uh, may, may, be, may be winning, may, may be coming, will be profitable for me for asking for people to be vaccinated is that they get sick in my country, they will not clog they will not mm -hmm. become a, a problem to my to my health system. Mm -hmm. But these people, not only are they contagious, they are even more liberal with their with, with, mm -hmm. with the way they behave because they cannot get sick. People use the mask for two reasons. Let me remind you: not get sick and not being contagious, not, not transmitting, not being the a factor that transmits the virus. In fact, there are different kinds of masks. There are mm -hmm. masks that do both, and there are masks, the regular masks that do only number two. So it's, it's a different ball game. Now, when, when you know you are not going to get sick or you think you know, because again, mm -hmm. let me remind you, vaccines are in the best case, 94% effective. Mm -hmm. When you know that and you, 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 you decide to take off the, the mask, you are really saying, I don't care if I, get, if I infect anybody else. But you know something, it's not true because that person was never told when you, have been vaccinated because the vaccines, the, the vaccine hype was so strong, was so high that this was kept on the side because they want people to get vaccinated. And they were right. I mean, those politicians who wanted their people to get vaccinated decide that that way they may be reelected one day 
or not, but may, maybe to have a, a better chance. The, the, the reason, the altruistic reason is that the, the, the NHS, like is in England, or, 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 the, or the hospitals, or the whole health system will not crumble, will not, will not you know, break because of the sheer amount of people who will come in, in which happened in many countries. I mean, that's one of them. There will be not enough oxygen, blah, 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 blah. That is the aim of the vaccine. But transmission is not stopped. So if you have now a low incidence and you bring people who are, who are vaccinated, you, in fact, probably are importing the infection, are, are helping, are, are really going to do, to do a damage to your own country. Of course, there are countries like Spain who says, well, I need the tourism. Again, we, we go, and here we go again to something that we were talking a year ago, a year ago, but more than a year ago. The virus doesn't care about your vacations. It doesn't care <laughs> about your tourism. It doesn't care about socialism or, mm -hmm. or capitalism. It doesn't care about Luxembourg, the, the Luxembourg-Belgian border. And he, he doesn't care about anything. In fact, he doesn't care. The only thing a virus does is reproduce and reproduce and reproduce and reproduce. And if you give him the, the chance, he will continue doing it. What do you say about uh, this, Florencia? No, I, I'm thinking, uh, uh, as I was listening to you, I was thinking this amounts to a very basic tenet of disillusionism, that there's, there's a difference between actual fact and illusion. There's a difference between, for instance, the propagation of a virus and the national borders drawn on uh, a desk. But... There is also a difference in what you are speaking about between uh, wishful thinking and actual fact, between things as they are developing and things as we wish they were. Because I, you mentioned the hype around the vaccine, and I myself have experienced this. It's like, okay, I'm already vaccinated as if it were 100%, as if it were absolutely the end of every transmission of the disease. And I think we feel that and we believe that partly because we want to feel that and because we want to believe that. So there's, uh, uh, I would say, a, a drive towards illusion that it's affecting the whole landscape. Well, it, 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 we're talking about, again, the illusions, the states, yes, and, mm. and the politicians that run, or, or the, the, the government officials that run, that we call the players, those people who run the, the illusions have a name to keep the illusion alive. So they, they use whatever the, 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 the weapons they mm. have. And, and, mm. and we, we, have, we have Merkel as, a, as an exception, yes, and in this, in this story, she, she has been totally different. And they will, they will first of all, make announcements. The whole thing of announcement, we were announcing, and today at four o'clock, we're doing an announcement. And then they turn in and they look very serious and they make announcements. And we have decided that this is going to be a five phase. In fact, we're first going to do this, and then we're going to do this, and then we're going to, you go, restaurants are going to do that, and you can go to a theater, but not very many theater. And then, as uh, uh, Boris Johnson said, it's Freedom Day, or Mr. Mr. Biden in the US. The 4th of July, it's Independence Day. Mm. What's the point of stating dates? What you want is numbers. Mm. Okay? And those numbers are very far from being achieved. Just for, to give you an example, today we know that if, you, if, if there is, if there is um, uh, 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 herd immunity, that means mm. that a certain percentage, it's closer to 90% of the population. That doesn't happen ever. I mean, it may happen in a couple of years. But uh, now we are very far from any 90% children who are not vaccinating. There is a, low, a lot of other anti-vax and people have the right not to be vaccinated, which is an interesting question. Uh, if do, they, they, they do have a right not to be vaccinated. And I remind you, this is a double prong sickness. One, you get sick. Two, you make other people sick. So these two things are not clear to people. So what you have, what are these people doing? They, they bring in confusion. So when mm. the 16th of June, or I don't know what day it was, the date in, in June that Boris Johnson uh, said that it's going to be Freedom Day arrived, they said, oh, very sorry, there is this Indian and this Delta. When we are dealing 
with hiding the name of the virus where it began or what do you think and call it the Indian, we call it Delta or Alpha or Gamma or Beta. Why, why are we doing this? No, we don't want to stigmatize. Well, what, how about we really deal with the problem? And then we all the time then do take all the stigmas and make very nice festivals about changing names. I don't know. But this is not what's happening. And people, as you say, want to hear good news. Yeah. So they they will they will shut they, they don't want to hear bad news. This is the other side, yes. So they may know that mm. when you are vaccinated, you may be contagious, but they don't want to hear about it because then your freedom that the vaccination was supposed to give you is partial. Eh? Now you're not worried that you're going to get sick, but you're worried that somebody else will get sick. And then, and then what? And then you are supposed to continue to do the same things before the vaccine, after the vaccine. The va and then there is the problem from the other side. Vaccination, the whole vaccination drive is based on people believing in vaccination. If mm -hmm. not, people will stop. Yes, in Romania is an excellent example. In Romania, they began, they were the, first, the best, the most vaccinated people at the beginning of the vaccination uh, um, campaign. They got 20% in, I don't know, very, very fast. And then it got stuck because people don't want to get the vaccine because there is a huge anti-vax group of people. And mm -hmm. that's it. And that was the end of it. So the government start paying money and they start bribing people to get the vaccine. And of course, telling them stories that the vaccine and then and, and, and then they, they comes the variants and they say, no, no, the variants, are, it's OK. Just just get the vaccine, get the vaccine, get the vaccine. Remember, the future, the political future and maybe even the, the freedom of those mm -hmm. politicians mm -hmm. who are now depends on this vaccination um, drive. They don't have a, there is no plan B. Mm -hmm. There is no plan B. I want to ask you about a different area of the theory and how it stands against all this confusion that you are describing uh, accurately, I guess, uh, which is sleepwalking. What about sleepwalking? What about the sink? What about that other? Uh, because, of course, there are illusions in disillusionism as opposite to fact and reality. But there is sleepwalking as a basic tenet also of the theory. And I want to ask you about that aspect of your theory in this very confusing landscape that you are describing. Well, to unconfuse people, some, some who, are, who are listening to us in... in maybe the first or second or third time, let me remind them that when we talk about sleepwalking, we're not talking about really people sleepwalking. Yes? It is then what do we do 95% of the day. And to be able to sleepwalk, you need to have a continuity. You need to have a, that things are, are not changing, that there is stability. Mm -hmm. And when you com keep confusing people and you keep changing dates to people and you keep telling people that it's a question of data, not just a question of quantity. When you, when you tell them about vaccination, yes, and then vaccination is not good enough and then it is good enough. And then they, all that confusion does not allow people to sleepwalk. And if they don't sleepwalk, they suffer. This is exactly mm -hmm. the point. Mm -hmm. And since running away from suffering is what we do in life, it's becoming harder and harder to run away from suffering. So the only way to do to, to, to deal with that is to throw at them, again, mm. governments and, 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 and people working there, uh, uh, epics. Ah, oh, this is great. Don't worry. We will go. It's freedom. Big words. To, to say nothing. Because the virus, the, the, the fact of the virus, Florencio, is very puny. It, there is, it's, it's banal. It's just that thing keep on uh, um, transmitting itself and, and reproducing and reproducing and new variants coming in, and new variants, new new, mm -hmm. new new variants coming in, and all this is happening, it's very, very hard for people to sleepwalk. And I think we, what we call the, you heard that pandemia fatigue, people have, mm -hmm. are too tired mm -hmm. about it. It's not they are too tired. They are too tired about rules being changed all the time. The Holiday Inn hotels have, a, or used to have at least, they used to have an excellent thing that any blind people could go to any Holiday Inn hotel because the furniture will be exactly the same in every hotel. So blind people could move around. Well, it is a kind of blindness that we're looking for. This is, mm -hmm. this is a, mm -hmm. and, 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 and when we sleepwalk, if imagine somebody who really sleepwalks and then you still keep moving the furniture to them. I mean, they, they, will, keep, they will keep banking into, into things all the time. So it is really very difficult, Florencio, very difficult for people to sleepwalk. 
If it's difficult for the to sleepwalk, the sink is going to get it's going to be a problem. The sink is that thing that makes everything work. It's uh, to remind everybody if you are in a in a uh, highway, yes, mm. and every car you see cars don't bump into each other. They, they, it's it's fantastic to look at the highway. It's amazing to look at the mm. highway. Why? Because everything is is done and you rely on everybody else doing what they have to do. Here we start having a problem. If I cannot rely on your sleepwalking, I cannot sleepwalk. So this is this may be a watershed moment, and we may not be um, sharp enough to see it. If you keep telling things, people just get vaccinated and you can travel. Why you can you travel? I don't understand. But uh, picking on your watershed moment statement there, what do you see? Because we are almost out of time already, but what do you see for the near future? Do, do you see more confusion, more challenges to sleepwalking and nostalgic reactions? Or as everyone seems to believe that we are about to see the light at the end of the tunnel? I, I think we think the tunnel at the end of the light. But uh, <laughs> more the tunnel at the end of the light. No, I, this is, again, uh, there are news that are coming out that are very, very, very worrying. There is the Delta Plus variant, which seems to be even much more transmissible than the, than the original Delta one, which is eight times more transmissible than the first one. I mean, we're talking about things that are becoming more and more and more contagious. Uh, you have a lot of people who are now vaccinated, but there is a lot of people who are unvaccinated. And the problem is that there is already in one of the, they, they, they took the virus and they make it mutate in a lab to see mm. what kind of mutations come out. And one of them evade the, the, all the, the vaccines completely because it changes the way the virus go into the cell. It used mm. to go through only one door and all the vaccines worked on that entrance. Mm. If the, the virus finds that way in the wild, It's mm. over. Mm. Vaccines were to begin all over again. And that's the vaccines. Again, mm. and people are tired and the economy is being, is, is uh, you know, it's not doing well. The mm. economy, of course, cannot do it. I mean, I, I've been traveling, I've been wo walking the, the city of London and in Oxford Street and it's empty. The, 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 and, and, and everything is supposedly working. So I think... We don't know because the virus plays with the whites. You know, he plays check, <laughs> chess, and he moves sometimes even twice before you. So we, we're still missing that part. We don't know what will happen with that. But maybe, maybe we will start understanding. And But I am not that, that optimist that this is going to solve itself or sort itself out before we get maybe a vaccine that does make us mm -hmm. immune and, and do we do not we are not contagious or maybe there is a good uh, a good remedy that comes out and you know a good drug that you you give mm -hmm. it and 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 the and, the, and the, the, this thing is gone but it, it's really you know it's really betting on miracles and uh, i i i very much don't like to bet on miracles mm -hmm. very well we'll carry on with our ana analysis as things develop but i think we've covered this Uh, sort of mid-year <laughs> report card on the current events. Well, and, uh, and yes, let, I, I would love to be on the next one and talk about, you remember the pandemic? Ah, that was, uh, I, I wish that, because, you know, being a pessimist, as people will tell you, mm -hmm. uh, it, it's not fun. Ask um, Angela Merkel. Nobody likes her, because uh, she tells uh, the truth. Nobody likes her. <laughs> I do. <laughs> See you. <laughs> See you next time. If you enjoyed the video, please like it, comment and subscribe.